left. What, what has Russell Wilson done? So I'm not going to say too much about that. Um, the last thing I did want to cover, and I talked about the pro ball, was Alvin Kamara and getting arrested and, and, and setting the players up for failure. You're putting them in a situation where they're in, they're in you know, Bettown, NFL, you know, of the world, Gambletown, NFL, of the world. Gambletown, the NFL, uh, they're in Gambletown of the world, and you're putting them in a situation where they can get, be invited to trouble. And it sucks because – uh, it isn't say it sucks, but it's tough as an athlete, right? Because people put you on a standard, and people people put a standard on your life, and they put you, they, people will hold you to a higher stand higher standard in NFL when you play an athletic sport. And even if you do something small or minimal, right, you're judged. And the very first thing in, as an NFL player, when something happens to you, the players look at what you did wrong and immediately judge you based off of one situation. And when players do when players do well and they do something well, it's hardly ever broadcast. The NFL has to throw that content out there. But you can you can literally get a speeding ticket and you know, somehow it may end up on the news. Just like you and people around you, some coworkers who are this, our laundry list of mistakes that we make are not aired out like them. And they don't I don't feel like they deserve to have your their laundry list of 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 things they do out like that um, unless it's really something like you know like if the, the, the claims are true on the Deshaun Watson case that situation that that's huge right and you have to do investigate it you have to investigate see what happened and then come to in the court law come to a conclusion on it but these small things like this like we always want to we always want to castrate these players we want to destroy these destroy these players when they mess up and I think as a true as a true fan of the sport someone who loves football who breathes football when a player messes up, I don't think to myself, oh, they need to be punished, right? Because that's a lot of people, some, some of my friends, they send me content when a player messes up and say, I told you so. Like, that's not the type of mindset or heart you got to have. I always think to myself, like, man, I wish, like, in that situation, and it's anybody, I wish in that situation they could have got help. I really think the NFL, and maybe it's the NFL uh, PA, Players Association, needs to have do more when it comes to truly educating these players. I know they do a lot, but do more and, and throughout the whole season to educating the players on conduct. But also you have to understand with the oppression, some of these players, a seminar, a mentor, all these things, some, some of these things, and sometimes mentors are good, mentors aren't even good. Some of these things aren't enough. And I think the NFLPA, especially for some of the black players who come from, from broken homes, um, come from oppression, oppression, not depression, but oppression, and I think they, they need a lot of education on how to go about handling business, how to associate yourself, and there are some platforms out there that are showing them that, but right now with this Alvin Kamara situation, like, it sucks, right, and, 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 and if you look at what happened in Vegas this year, and you look at what happened in Vegas ever since they moved the franchise, it's just been turmoil, so I, I, I don't think that it's good for the, to have a franchise in the city, um, you know, especially football. I just think there's there's so many things that they can get in trouble with, and and, and I don't I don't like the dynamic of of the the pro ball being there, and instead of it being like a family event, now it's a you know pretty much a singles event where you know most of the players are are I hate to say it like are positioned to get in trouble. So um, it's the last game of the season for these guys, and they don't they're not they're not they're just ready to have a good time, which is fine. Hey, look, if that's what you do, have a good time, have a good time, but. And the worst city where things can happen is it, it sucks. So I hope the situation with Alvin Kamara gets uh, uh, sorted out. You know, I hope whoever's in the situation, you know, I pray for both of them, you know, whoever, you know, he put his hands on. Uh, but it just sucks that the pro balls in, in this in this game and, and, and in the city and, and they're they're prone to this. So um, 